So, hey y'all, and a welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, um, if I seem a little excited, it's actually because I am, because this is a topic that I love talking about, because I love men, you know what I'm saying? And I love the study of humans and like human nature and like behavior. So like, this is like right up my alley. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about alpha men, okay? Everybody wants to be an alpha man. I'm an alpha. I'm an alpha. I lead the pack. No, you don't, sir. No, you don't. Statistically and scientifically, every dude cannot be an alpha. Though everyone wants to, they're not. Okay? And in this video, I'm going to break down how to tell if you yourself are one or aren't, or if you might be dating one, or if you're attracted to one, how to tell if he's a true alpha. So stay tuned, y'all. Okay, so maybe you've actually heard the term alpha male and you might be wondering like, what does that even mean exactly? Or like, what what does that entail? Like, you know, stereotypically it's like a big muscular man who gets all the ladies, right? Like that's what people think of mostly when they think of alpha male, but that's not really what it is. So the term comes from actually the study of animals. Okay, so in this video, we'll use primates as an example. So monkeys, chimpanzees, gorillas, you know, chimps, whatever. So in the animal kingdom, when scientists are studying their behavior, they can point out the alpha male because one, he'll be the biggest, he will be the strongest, he'll be the one showing the most dominance, and he'll be the one, you know, mating with all the ladies. But in the human social structure, they're a little bit harder to to define they're a little bit harder to recognize okay so like i said in the animal kingdom you'll know you know the alpha by watching them he'll be the strongest he'll be the biggest he'll be the one beating on his chest he'll be the one you know mating with all the women no matter what you know other male might be you know desiring her he won't care okay but again in the you know human world in the human society it's a little bit harder to tell so when an alpha walks in the room, okay, you, us women, you can kind of spot him right away because like he'll be confident, okay, um, he'll be, he won't be nervous no matter how beautiful the women in the room are, he will not be nervous, he will not be flustered, no matter how many other men are in the room, he will not be nervous, he will not be flustered, he might not have the most money in the room, he might not look the best, he might not really be you know what people would assume an alpha is but you'll know because he'll be exuding alpha energy okay for one he'll introduce himself he will not be wait he will not wait to be introduced he'll introduce himself he'll introduce himself to the men he'll introduce himself to the women you know what i'm saying and and it'll be in a very confident way you know you'll you'll be able to tell and then also like he's kind of like you know, he's got like a leader's, um, you know, kind of like personality. You'll just be able to tell. He'll lead conversations. He'll start conversations at a party or a gathering or a social group or at work or wherever. Um, you know, he'll kind of be just a leader. You, you'll see it. You'll see it. Whereas like a beta might, um, you know, wait to be introduced or he might, you know, you can tell he won't, he's, wants to say something but he might be a little shy okay so when a beta walks into the room um he might let's say he sees a female that he wants to you know that he thinks is pretty that he wants to pursue he will go straight towards her like he will sit down he will introduce himself you know he might compliment her he'll introduce himself to her friends if she's with friends and it'll kind of it'll as a woman it'll it might be a little overwhelming you might kind of be like, whoa, at first, you know what I'm saying? If you're not used to it or if you, you know, have never been in the presence of a, a alpha before, um, it might kind of strike you as overly confident or sometimes um, arrogance. But no, 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 not at all. Because an alpha is not arrogant at all. In fact, quite the contrary. He's extremely emotionally intelligent. So he's going to know 
you know, how and when to approach you. He's going to know what to say, how to say it, and when the right time is, okay? Now, a beta male, which is, is like inferior to an alpha, uh, you know, he might be intimidated by the prettiest woman in the room, or he might be intimidated that there's other men in the room who seem to have more than him or might be wearing designer clothes or or may have you know hopped out of a foreign car like that might intimidate a beta and alpha might be the brokest man in the room but he that doesn't that doesn't face him at all like at all so you know we've all been in situations ladies where like you're at a party or a kickback or a game night and it'll be the guy who's like always talking about what he has or like mentioning his money or mentioning, you know, material things that he has. Very, 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 very beta-like personality, okay? He might even get up and stand up and maybe like scratch his stomach to show his Gucci belt. Or he might, you know what I'm saying? Say like, watch out, don't step on my, you know, $800 shoes, something like that. Like just pay attention to those little things. Those are very, very beta type personalities again not saying that the man who wears designer or drives a foreign car is a beta but let's say he's he has those things but he's an alpha he will not speak on them because one those aren't his best qualities okay those come second to his alphaness if that makes any sense he might talk about um you know his wit or he might show his his humor or he might you know what i'm saying he might talk about the places he's been or some knowledge that he gained. Again, more primal type things, things that he can take anywhere with him, okay? And Alpha's very in touch with his primal nature, all right? Again, the study of primates, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, he's gonna be in touch with his animalistic nature, all right? So like material things and shit like that, like he might, though he might have them and enjoy having them, those aren't going to be his biggest accomplishments. Okay. That's the very first sign to tell if you're in the presence of an alpha. All right. Another thing is like alpha men won't really involve themselves in female affairs. All right. And what I mean by that is let's say uh, there's women like talking or speaking and let's say the woman at the party that he wants to talk to is speaking with her friends. He's not going to interrupt or he's not going to sit over there and be and start talking about makeup and hair and shit like that. Like he's going to wait for his time and then approach her. Whereas a beta might try to join the conversation or try to make himself be seen by prancing around in front of the girl and getting up and walking around. And you know what I'm saying? Just trying to make himself be seen or, or kind of like, drawing attention to himself by being silly or goofy or you know like at alpha he doesn't move like that like he, he he's 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 very in tune with the people around him and the energies of the people around him so he he just his timing is impeccable you know the, the his he's just the shit like if y'all can't tell i like alphas already like there i just i don't know like mm. They just they just they just command the room and they command the attention without having to do too much it's a very it's a very sexual feeling and women you know as a woman who's attracted to an alpha male like you'll know when you're in the presence of an alpha like literally your body will respond to them um you know your chi chis might start getting erect you know what i'm saying your little na na might start getting a little juicy like as crazy as that sounds like yes just by being in his presence like they their energy is strong and it will do that to you if in fact you are attracted to alpha males okay now not all females are not all females are attracted to alphas again some females might be in that same room at that party and let's say the beta is you know talking about how much money he has or you know showing off his designer goods or you know flashing his foreign car keys some women are attracted to that usually beta females are are attracted to that you know they will you know go for the beta in the room if they feel he has enough you know assets to to court them now alpha females on the other hand might find that corny or you know because they they themselves might have those goods they might not really be attracted to that 
if that makes any sense. Okay, so an alpha female is going to most likely be attracted to the alpha, especially if she's in tune and in touch with herself and knows that those kinds of things just don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, you won't find an alpha concerned with female affairs. For example, you will never, ever, 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 ever in a million years catch a true alpha arguing with women okay you won't catch him arguing at all really he's very assertive so he's gonna say what he has to say and that's just kind of what it is and if there's any more problems he might he might take it to a physical standpoint all right but um as far as women like he he you they don't do that like at alpha they don't they don't they don't get down like that you'll never catch an alpha arguing with a woman they just don't do that that's just not in their nature that's not that they they just can't they just don't they don't move like that okay so if you're dating a guy and, you know, you notice that he likes to argue a lot or he kind of puts you down or makes you feel bad or kind of like, um, you know, attacks your womanhood, sis, you might, you might be in the presence of a beta. You might even be in the presence of an omega. And I'll do another video on the other archetypes because there's, you know, sigmas, alphas, omegas. There's, there's other, there's other you know, personality types rather than just alpha and beta. But in this video, just to keep it short and sweet, we're only going to be really discussing the alpha and the beta. Um, but yeah, so, you know, if you're in a relationship with a guy or dating a guy and you notice he, he always makes you feel bad or he likes to argue and you guys argue back and forth like for days or whatever, sis, that's a beta, baby. And it's not that, again there's you know people in relationships with betas who who are happy and, and, and it can work and you know females are attracted to the beta types you know but mostly we want alphas <laughs> like straight up like baby and an alpha he knows how to handle a female's emotions we as females we are temperamental um you know depending on our cycle depending on you know where we're at in our cycle we can be a little temperamental and because that's in our nature in our primal nature an alpha male understands that he might say something like, baby, I know, you know, you, you, you're kind of tripping right now. Maybe it's that time of the month or, you know, I know your mood. So I'm gonna just leave you alone because I know you get moody. These are something that an alpha might say, whereas a beta might argue back like, well, what's your problem? You know, da, 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 da. like that, that's that's beta ish in nature. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they'll argue with women or you'll start to they just like. I think Drake said it best when he said, "In words, act more like B words these days." Like, yeah. So if you notice that your dude is not necessarily feminine, like you know, hey girl, what you doing? But if he's exuding feminine nature, such as arguing with you or making you feel bad or going back and forth, those are feminine traits. Okay, you are dating a beta, sweetheart. And if you like it, hey. You know, some women like to argue in relationships. I personally, I'm not doing that. Okay, I need an alpha. Where the alpha's at? Where you at? So anyway, those are some signs that you can, you know, tell that you might be dating a beta rather than an alpha, or you might even be with an omega, um, you know, uh, archetype. Okay, an alpha is gonna make a woman feel good in his presence. All right. Not only is she gonna feel good, she's gonna feel protected. She's gonna feel safe. She's going to feel happy, you know? He's going to compliment her. He's going to love her femininity. He's going to bring out those feminine traits in her. He's going to make her feel like a real woman and that she can be, you know, her her truest form of herself, her most feminine self. Like, an alpha is going to make you feel like a real woman when you're around him okay he's gonna exude so much testosterone that like around him you're gonna feel safe you're gonna feel protected you're gonna feel beautiful you're gonna feel like a real woman like i know that sounds kind of corny and like kind of cliche but like that's that's how you kind of know when you're in the presence of an alpha okay you're gonna be sexually turned on i mean he's going to turn you on. Like he's going to make you feel protected. He's going to make you feel safe. He's going to compliment you. Alphas are not in competition with women. You'll find that a lot in beta personality types. Um, they'll argue with women or they'll kind of like compare themselves to women. 
because they feel that they are in competition with women. Okay. Now I know we're in the new millennium and yes, you know, women and men are equal. I do agree, but I'm talking about in our most primal state. Okay. I'm not talking about in the workplace or financially. I'm talking about in our primal state. Okay. In our primal state going way, way back to our ancestors. Okay. You know, a man is the protector he is supposed to be the provider and he is supposed to make a woman feel a certain type of way um you know not in a toxic way i know times are different right now so i have to be really particular about what i say i don't want to say the wrong thing but you know again in our most primal state you know women want to feel protected we want to feel safe in a man's presence you know and an alpha will definitely make you feel that um you know a beta uh might exude that same same you know energy but um you know if there's a conflict uh he might leave you you know where you're at or he might again belittle you or talk about your physical appearance for example an alpha might say something like uh you know i love women who wear their natural hair um with no weave and no makeup. I love how women look in their natural state or something like that. Nothing wrong with that. That's his preference. Um, you know, that's a very alpha way to state your preference. A beta, on the other hand, might say something like, I hate when women wear weave and I hate women who wear makeup. See the difference? Do you see the difference? Like now, that's that's what I mean when I say in competition with the women. You might find a beta who um, actually enjoys arguing with women or he might even brag about it. Like um, I told her, you know what I mean? Or like this girl thought she was the thought she was all this and all that. And I cussed her out. I cussed that girl out. Very beta. OK, so if you're if you're noticing that your dude or your guy or the guy that you're interested in says things like that or does things like that, you're more than likely in the presence of a beta male with um, beta energy. OK, um, and again, there, there are traits of a beta that women are attracted to. For example, a beta is going to chase a woman, especially a woman that he feels is of, is of higher value than him. He will chase her. He will swoon her. He will do whatever she wants, no matter how she treats him back, because he feels that he needs her to, um, you know, climb the social hierarchy. OK, and Alpha, on the other hand, he will pursue a woman in a healthy way. He will pursue her, you know, and if he finds that she's not reciprocating the energy, he will let her go because one, he knows that he can get other women and two he's very again emotionally intelligent and he can pick up social cues okay and he doesn't need her for status you know what i'm saying a beta on the other hand um you know he's gonna base his life on trying to get the prettiest woman and he he's not going to be intelligent enough to understand what women really want okay he's going to think that all women want you know, a guy who drives a foreign car or a guy who, you know, wears designer clothing and things like that. Because again, he's not tapped in. He's not as tapped in as the alpha. He's not, he's not as, as he's not living in his most primal state. He's just not, he not there yet. He ain't there yet. Okay. So, so just be aware of some of those traits. And again, this is just a little quick video. I could go more in depth. I might do a part two where I break down some of the other archetypes, like the betas, the sigmas, the omegas. Um, but this is just kind of like a little, I guess, teaser for what's to come. So, um, if you guys have noticed any of these traits in your man or in your partner or in, you know, somebody that you might be interested in or that you're dating, let me know some other examples that kind of tips you off. Or if you have any questions, um, if your man, you know, what category he might fit in, go ahead and leave me a comment and um, 
I'll respond back to you. And if you guys are liking the content, uh, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Um, I had some people asking me, how do you subscribe? All you do is press that little red button that says subscribe and that's it. You don't have to pay. It's not, you know, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to just press the button, boom, and you're, you're subscribed. And every time I post new content, you'll be able to see it um, right away without having to search my name and things like that. Okay. So again, my channel is still brand, brand new. Um, I'm just kind of playing around with some different content and, and topics that I, I like to talk about personally. So if you guys are filling the content, make sure you subscribe and um, I'll see you guys next time. All right. <laughs> Bye.